Okay guys, so what we're going to do today is for our lesson, we are going to do some fitness assessments. I'm just checking this, my, my uh, camera was recording. What you'll need is some equipment to start with. You'll need the recording sheet below. So you'll need to print this off probably that you can go around and record everything. And if you look at the sheet, it's basically broken up into the areas we've done fitness tests before. It's broken into your, well, you need to name at the top for a start. And you need your height and weight. They're our growth areas. And then it's broken up into cardio strength and flexibility. You don't have to do all of these at one time. You need to record them. If you can get it all done in the one day, it'll be great. And then you need to transfer it into the sheet in classroom. When you write it into your sheet, it's an assignment sheet in classroom, fitness assessment, you just need to put the score in and it will save it itself and you turn it in. It's all cool. Don't worry about finding a save function. Most of you have been able to do that. What else do you need before, besides this sheet? Well, probably if you've got a set of scales, I've just grabbed this out of my bathroom, something like that to weigh yourself. If you don't have it, don't worry. You don't need to do it if you can't do it. It's fine. If you've got any tape measures around your place, Dad might have a tape measure that looks like this. That might help. I'm lucky enough to have a big one from school. Okay, and if you've got anything, I'm just going to use my phone to time something to time yourself. If you haven't got anyone to help you, it makes it a bit harder, but you can still do it. Okay, and I've also got a bit of chalk that I can do some markings on the ground, but you can scratch anything on the ground as you go. So we're going to start with the first two things on here, your height and weight. Remember, if you can't do it, don't worry. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks for doing your height. First one, if we track over here, if my thing is working today, it seems to be like me. I've got a garage door. Now, I could pull that garage door down. This one actually is folding, so I'd have to do it slow and pull it down to the top of my head, and then I can measure that height. I can stand on a wall, get someone to put a marker against a wall so don't put it don't do it on inside on a wall externally put a mark and i can even lay on the ground get someone to put a chalk marker or i can put a chalk mark on my feet lay down it might not be exactly accurate but it'll be pretty close and then you measure it i want your height in centimeters i don't drop this okay then pretty easy one if you've got a set of scales or access to a set of scales, you've got to do it on a solid ground and level ground. Make sure it's on zero. Jump on and weigh yourself in kilograms and put your weight down. So that is the first thing you need to measure in your fitness assessment. Okay, the first thing on your list is a 20 meter run. You can only do 20 max and you've got three seconds to recover in between. I want you to try and do this at least at 75% of your running speed to top. How many times can you do it in a row out of 20 times? You might be able to see on the ground, I've used my tape measure to mark out 20 meters, but you could step it out with really large steps. So you're going to go whenever you're ready and you're going to run as hard as you can. up to your end spot 20 meters along the running track and you've got three seconds to recover at the end so when three seconds you'll run back the other way and come down again 20 meters recovery how many can you do repeat it up to 20 Three seconds recovery at about 75%. Okay, the next one in your timer, in your, sorry, in your cardio is skipping. Now, I've got my phone and I've set my phone on the timer to one minute. You might be able to get someone else to help you. You might even be able to count to 60. All right, you're going to try and skip continuously for one minute once you start your timer. Now, I don't care if your rope marks up you will just start again. But I want you to go for a minute continuously. Now I, I mucked up, so 
So I will just keep going. A minute of continuous skipping without stopping. Now if you have to stop and you can't go any longer, I want you to go back or use the person you're time with to see how long you skip for. Write your results down on the recording sheet just like you did with your sprints or your 20 meter runs. How many did you do? How long did you skip for? In seconds. Okay, now we move on to the strength activities and we're going to do the sit-ups first. Now, if you do the sit-ups, you might be lucky enough to have something like this, like a yoga mat, or you could do it on grass, or you could do it inside on your carpet, just somewhere that's a little bit softer. And what you're going to try and do is 30 sit-ups maximum. And count how many sit-ups you do out of that 30, then write it down. Now, a couple of things with the sit-ups, those of you who have done it before, you need big legs bent at about 90 degrees. You need to make sure your head is on the mat and it needs to be up, hold, and down for one. Up, hold, down for two, on about the seconds. And you can't lift your legs up, you can't be dragging yourself up like this. As soon as you're starting to lose form, it's a no sit up. So it must be Arms straight, only up to the knees, up, hold, down, because that's where you're doing work, where your stuff, tummy's having to hold you there. If you're going like this past it, you're actually cheating a bit. It's up, hold, down to that position. Up, hold, down. How many can you do out of 30 keeping that? Put your score down next to the sit-ups once you've done it. Now you might, might or might not be able to do this depending on what you have available at your house. I'm inside my garage here and I just happen to have a bar that I've put here so I can do chin-ups and things. You might not have anything like that that you can hang off in your house. If you can't, if you don't, don't worry about it and leave it blank. But if you've got something, have a good look around that's solid and then you can hang from and get up to it, then you can try the flexed arm, arm hang. Now grades three to six, notoriously are not very good at that for some reason. It might be a lack of climbing these days. This muscle here, biceps, is the main one that's gonna hold us in place, okay? So you need to get up the bar and you need to hold this 90 degree position for 10 seconds. Same thing, you might need someone to count for you or you can count yourself. One, two, three, what do you get up to? This doesn't count, that's not 90 degrees. That doesn't count, it's definitely not 90 degrees. This doesn't count, it's not 90 degrees. It must be inside this bend, like the corner of a square, is 90 degrees. So you'll grab the bar, Get yourself to 90 degrees and you have to hang there for 10 seconds. Count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The extension of that is the chin up. Being able to get yourself the whole way. We're not doing that today. We're just going to see how long we can do a flexed arm hang for. All right, next strength activity is push-ups, testing your strength in your chest. Push-ups, now I find a lot of people don't do the push-ups correctly. You can do it one of two ways. You can either go from your knees, legs up in the air, body straight, down, like that, and up is one. Nose nearly to the mat, and up. So maximum this time is 20. If you're going to try, if you think you're fairly good at them, and you can put it on the sheet if you want, you can try a straight push-up with your body straight. No bums in the air, no arches like this. Nice and straight, down, up is one. Two, three. If you're doing this and swaying, go back to this. All right, so how many push-ups can you do out of 20? No time limit here but you can't stop and go back to it. It's how many in a row you can do. Okay, so similar to the push-ups, so you might want a little bit of a rest in this one, is the plank. But rather than push-ups, we're using these muscles here. The plank is using all our muscles through our core to stabilize our body. And we're trying to keep our body nice and level. Once again, we don't want bottoms up in there or bottoms down. So 30 seconds, you'll need a timer again, or you'll need someone to time you, or you can count to 30, not one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, 30 second plank. So on our elbows, body straight, this position, holding it for 30 seconds. Now, if you can't hold it for 30, if you're down like this, that's over. 
What do you get to? 30 seconds. 30 seconds is the maximum score holding your plank. Okay, we're up to flexibility and the one piece of equipment I didn't inform you about is a ruler and you probably really do need a helper for this one. So once again, if you can't do it, you don't have a helper, don't worry. Shoes should be off. So I'm taking my shoes off and we're going to test our flexibility. This is the flexibility of our hamstrings, these big muscles behind, which usually get pretty tight if we don't work on them and keep the flexibility in them. So our flexibility test today is a little bit different to school. We can't go past the zero mark because we don't have the equipment. I want you to find a wall. Here, I've done everything just outside my garage, in my garage, and I'm gonna put my feet flat on a wall. And we're gonna put both hands. We're not gonna do one single hands today. We're just gonna two hands level, not reaching out like this, two hands level. And we're gonna see how far forward, hold it for three, one, two, three, we can get. Now if I got to this wall, it would be zero. My score would be zero. I can't do better than zero. In this test, zero is actually a good score. It means I've got to my toes. What you need the other person for, like me, if I don't get to the wall, is to measure how far off the wall you are. So if I'm here, without having the second person here, I need them to measure from my top of my fingers to the wall. Now I would say, just as a guess, I'm at about five centimetres, but that's not going to be very accurate because I've only got myself. If you're like me and you're on your own and you have to get close, be honest with it, all these things you need to be honest with, there's no use lying about them, is to get an approximation. But if you've got someone who can measure, hold it, one, two, three, measure from your tip of your finger to there, how far off they are. If you can get to there, that's a zero. You've got to hold it for three seconds. You can't just touch it and come back. You must be held for three. One, two, three. And these knees, here we go. They need to be flat. This is feeding. This is correct. Okay, three seconds. Legs flat. Leg flexibility or sit and reach. Okay, easy one to finish, guys. Last one in our flexibility series. So we've had our growth we've measured. We've measured our uh, cardio with a couple of exercises. We've measured our strength with about four exercises. And we're measuring our flexibility here. The last one we've got is our arm over shoulder. So I am going to do my right arm first. On your sheet, you'll see there's right arm high and there's left arm high. If I turn around, correct side. Right arm, left arm, because I'm facing you, it's the opposite. So right arm high, bottom hand below, can you touch? Now, the answer here is a yes or no. So I can't touch on my right arm high, so that is a yes. So I've got to work on my flexibility up here. Left arm high, can you touch? No. Now as you get older, I used to be able to do that, you get tighter. So I have to do work on my upper body flexibility there, getting my arm over in the triceps here and the shoulder. So guys, in summary, you don't have to do it all in one hit. Look carefully at the sheet, how far you have to go and what the maximum scores are. Fill in your recording sheet below. Print the sheet below, print, write it out. But for me to see your answers, I really don't want you just taking photos off it. You want to do it properly and putting in CCL. To do it properly, I want you to go back into classroom. The link is below the blue classroom button. Go and find the, the assignment listed and it says fitness tests or fitness testing. Open it up and you'll see the sheet just like you filled in. Oh, actually, it's a little bit different. Sorry, it's a little bit different. It's a sheet rather than a doc. All you have to do is go in and put your results in that sheet. You don't have to save it. It automatically saves. It's a Google document. And then you just turn it in and I can see it and I can give you a mark. Okay, that's all you have to do today. Warm up above, watch this video, print the sheet below, record it, go into classroom, turn it in, and you're done. Have a good week, guys. Let's hope the weather keeps up.